and you let her go. Hello everyone, it's Concession Place here, and today we are looking at the eight biggest sea monsters or prehistoric sea monsters who have ever existed. I did make a video on this a while back. But I thought that was really, really bad. I just copied and pasted the pretty honest guys, and th so this is basically a another version of me talking about the actual sea monster itself. And if you didn't know, I have phallosophobia, and this is the fear of the sea. Even though I am very interested in finding out what is in the depths, but the fear of the unknown and what could be down there is really what scares me. With. But anyways, without any more interruptions, let's jump into the eight most terrifying prehistoric sea monsters to have ever existed in the world today. Let's go. Number eight, Talishrophus. This ten foot long marine reptile swam the seas in the late Triassic period, and with its near many long vertebrae, its neck was twice as long as its body, and it was a very good feature to have. If it had spotted a school of fish, the creature with its long neck would pull it in the middle and no other fish would mind it because its ginormous body was what they were really scared of and not the short neck. Just think of it as a sick game of hide and seek. Yeah, it's, it's quite disturbing to be honest. Number 7. The Cellosaurus. Cellosaurus, in fact, is the genus of Rhea that lived about 60 million years ago during the time of the dinosaurs. It is a very dangerous animal. If you ever went into contact with it, you would be gone in about Say 2.5 seconds. Wow! With its name meaning King Lizard, you were expected to be really small, but it actually wasn't. Its brain was relatively small compared to most sea creatures. In fact, it was once known as the Zooglodon before it was changed to Basilosaurus, and also its bones were used as furniture. Yeah, furniture. So next time you think about sitting on that wooden chair, you just think of old Basilosaurus just, just skulking at you from the sky, staring at you. Wait for its time to strike. So I just wanted to put that thought in your head. Number 6. Tyrosaurus. Tyrosaurus was the Mosasaur, a large predatory marine lizard closely related to modern monitor lizards and snakes. Tyrosaurus was mostly a carnivore, and mostly it was, but it didn't just hunt animals underwater, it also did once out of the water. It would leap up in the air and catch a unlucky pteranodon flying by. It grew up to about 50 feet long and rated up to 20 tons. That's a lot of fact. The Talosaurus used its snout to locate prey, which, once inside the monster's menacing jaws, was swallowed whole. When the sea monster opened wide for the final gulp, two extra rows of teeth on the roof of its mouth allowed crippled captives no escape. So basically, if you got in the mouth of this, there's no escape. And this monster was the deadliest of the sea. Definitely should be number 6 on this list. Number 5. Dunkleosteus. Dunkleosteus was a powerful armoured brood. Its most distinguishing feature was its coated plated armour and its two sharp jagged teeth. Dunkleosteus was the first that lived in the late Devonian period about 380 to 360 million years ago. It grew to around 10 meters or 33 feet and was probably the top predator of its time. Its jaws were so powerful it could cut through clean meadow and it could probably bite through another Dunkleosteus right in half. This thing was definitely the top predator of its time and it should be worth the number 5 spot on this list. Number 4. Leviathan. Leviathan was the next six species of whale and was close to the modern day sperm whale which was 50 tons and had the longest teeth of any prehistoric animal known to be existed. Living alongside the Megalodon, this whale measured about 60 feet or 18 meters in length, about as big as the modern day sperm whale. And also it was the inspiration for Moby Dick. Number 3. Chronosaurus. The Chronosaurus was a close relative of the mighty Lathlodon. It was 2.8 meters long or 42 feet in length and its teeth were 7 centimeters in length. But in fact, the Chronosaurus teeth actually weren't that sharp. And also, Chronosaurus hunted other Chronosaurus, which is what led them to extinction by other sharks and even other plesiosaurs of its size. Even its head at 3 meters or 9 feet long, it was bigger than a man. This monster could open its jaws wide like a crocodile and grasp prey with teeth as big as bananas. Fossilized stomach remains show that it other marine reptiles, including other plesiosaurs, gigantic carnivorous reptiles that live in the oceans during the time of it. Like all plesiosaurs, chronosaurs had to rise to the surface to breathe air, 
and this creature deserves the number three spot. Number two, Lapluodon. Lapluodon was the mightiest aquatic predator of all time. Its 25 meter long body would, would have cruised silently through the shallow seas of the late Jurassic period, propelled by its flapping flippers. Until recently, the longest confirmed adult specimen was 18 meters in length, but in 2003 a fossil plesiosaur, possibly a Lepluodon, was discovered in Mexico which was 18 meters long and still a juvenile, suggesting that they grew considerably larger than this. Yeah, these guys were massive! A Lepluodon's nose alerted the smell underwater. This allowed Lepluodon to smell its prey from some distance away, despite needing to breathe air. Lepluodon spent its entire life at sea and was unable to leave the water. It would have given birth to its young alive and may have visited shallow water to breed. Number one, Little Don. That was kind of over dramatic. This is Megalodon, a 70 foot long shark that swam the ocean for 25 million years. It's TV huge and even the name Megalodon means big tooth. And I don't think I need to explain why. In fact, let me just show you. So as you can see here, this is a great white tooth. Very, very sharp. You would not like to get bit by this guy. Uh, here is another one. That's three of them. Here it is right here. Very, very, very sharp. And here's the big one. Big, 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 big. So this is from a great white cotton waffle. Now they're very small, but wait till you see this. This is Megalodon. As you can see, it is ten times bigger than the original. And it looks terrifying. As you can see, I'm going to compare the two. Uh, so yeah, they are absolutely... It's as unbelievable that this creature could exist. Sharks have actually changed very little since they appeared over 300 million years ago. Shark skeletons are made of cartilage, which is soft and rarely fossilized. So, no skeleton of the Megalodon has been found, so no one actually knows how big they can get. The teeth are very durable and can survive for many years, so even if this tooth uh, is about 20 million years old, it doesn't change. As you can see here, um, the serrations on the tooth itself, uh, that was used for cutting up the um, the, fire, the prey into bits, so it would have no chance of escaping, its fins would be ripped off, and if you were bit by this guy, you would not survive. Although science has said that the Megalodon is extinct now, people have still found sightings all over the world. Could the Megalodon still exist? Leave in the comments below. Anyways guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment, thanks for watching, goodbye.